I'm bringing out someone special on this channel. <laughs> I'm excited, guys. You said never let me go. Hey, beautiful people. My name is Mili. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about um, a topic. Is it okay to not be okay? and i am hosting love general have you heard about him he has a channel on instagram it's called love general tv guys go check it out okay let's have him You're welcome to my channel thank you thank you thank you so much all right so today we want us to talk about um is it okay to not be okay can you please give us your thoughts what do you think um is it okay not to be okay mm -hmm. Well, first and foremost, I must confess, I'm very glad to be here. Thank it's you. been an amazing time with Millie Kay. Yeah, Thank who you. doesn't want to be here? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, is it okay not to be okay? Mm -hmm. First and foremost, I think there are two angles with this. And based on the context that you are coming from or based on the thoughts you have or where you're coming from, right? For mine, where I'm coming from and the thoughts I have concerning whether it's okay mm. not to be okay. Mm. First and foremost, I'll say yes, it's okay not to be okay. For example, in this context, mm. for example, you're hungry, right? And if we should ask you, is it okay not to be okay in the context of hunger? Mm. Then I think it's okay because it presupposes that you have something that gives a red alarm that needs to be dealt with. So um, you being hungry shows that, okay, you are a human being and you need something. Mm -hmm. But is it good to stay not okay? Then I would say no. Because if you stay hungry, you know, so I understand, so you're going <laughs> to die. Yeah. yeah. So in that context, it's okay not to be okay, but it's not okay to remain not okay. But in another context, for example, let's say, um, is it okay to, let's say, not okay in, a, in the context of accident, mm -hmm. right? I would say no, it's not okay not to be okay in mm -hmm. that context mm -hmm. because actually it's not okay. Nobody's going to like it, right? So with these two examples, first from the first example i gave and then the mm. second example i gave you can mm. see two differences so you can come from two different angles with this question yeah that is my from my perspective probably there are other examples and other contexts that you can also come from with different um relations and how you relate to it yeah okay okay love general there is there is a time most of the times the society relate to this as you shouldn't you shouldn't cry you shouldn't let it out you should be strong you should not show other people that you're not okay you know you need to be bold what do you think about that um having the understanding that you're human uh -huh. and what do human beings do let's come from the angle where everybody gets hungry mm -hmm. everybody gets angry mm -hmm. everybody gets tired Everybody cries one way or the other. Um, everybody laughs one way or the other. So when we come from that context, it's okay not to be okay. That is to show what is going on within you because probably that is where you're going to get help from, right? If you don't show it, nobody knows you're going through it, especially if you're very good at acting, right? Nobody's going to know and give you that help, right? So I would say it's okay to let sure. yourself out. Yeah, but some, there are some people who would like to keep things in and they are okay mm, with that mm, and they are fine and they mm. can get themselves to go through it successfully. So I think that's what I So say. in other words, it's not a sign of weakness if you show sure that I'm not okay. Yeah, it's not a sign of weakness. It's just like showing that, hey, I'm hungry. <laughs> I need some food. Mm. It's, it's never a sign of weakness, you know. Yeah, that's what I would say. That's okay, say. so now the, the example of hungry, someone might, might understand this might understand it clearly but then let's use the example of i've lost someone and i don't want to show the public out there that i'm weak or most especially with you guys you don't want to cry in public you're going through something but if someone sees you when you're crying it shows that you're not okay it will somehow take 
of some respect, some beginning of you, or people won't see you as a brave guy. What do you think about that? I think everybody has his uh, definition of being strong. Mm -hmm. So especially with guys, it varies sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, especially um, coming from maybe depending on how you were raised. But for me, my background, there are certain things that will make me bring it out. And there are other things that will make me say, hey, just, just stay strong. You know, probably you staying strong is going to encourage someone to stay strong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Because some people actually get broken to the extent that they remain broken all their lives. Mm. All right. But some people come out of it. But when you teach someone to stay strong by staying strong, a person can, you know, build some level of strength in his or her life mm. yeah so with that i would say depending on the situation maybe you lost a loved one uh, maybe uh, um, something didn't go right with you maybe your house got bent mm. or something mm. of course you you're going to get job. hurt yeah but there is an attitude you can show and tell people hey i know i lost it but i can keep going mm. but i've not lost it all mm. that is not all that there is in life yeah so that's what i think mm. Yeah. All right, guys, tell us what do you think in the comment section below? Is it okay to not be okay? okay Love General, any last word for my viewers out there? Um, thank you. Thank you for um, the opportunity. If you weren't watching, Milike wouldn't have invited me, you know. Yeah, so I say thank you and shout out to all my friends and loved ones. I love you all, and it's a privilege. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Kindly like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to practice kindness. All right. See you in the next video. Bye.